did my makeup a little bit differently today. I'm not sure how I feel about the pink. And I feel like maybe I overdid my highlighter. We're gonna go with it. A question that I get asked a lot is, where do you get your fragrances online? Which fragrance sites are legit? And basically, where do you get the best prices for fragrances online? I purchase them from fragrancenet.com. I purchase from them like 80% of the time, honestly, even though I live in Canada. Sometimes even with the shipping, it's still worth it. Like hands down, their prices and their selection are the best. So I've done a haul. Some of these were sent to me. Some of these I purchased. You guys can guess which I purchased and which were sent to me. But I'm going to basically get right into it and show you what I have here. And I'm going to try to recall the exact price point, but I will link everything for you guys in the down bar below. We're going to start with my Burberry Black. And this is the Elixir de Parfum. It comes in a nice little box like this. And this is a 30 mil. I've cut up my little papers. We're, we're rationing here, so bear with me. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, Elixir de Parfum. I didn't find this anywhere except fragrancenet.com. I'm telling you guys, I've looked everywhere for this. I'm going to just spray it. It's delicious. It's sweet. It's exactly like a syrupy version, a very dense version of my Burberry Black. The projection on this is insane. I, the first time that I sprayed it, I sprayed it on a piece of paper like this and I left it in my kitchen and I left the room. And then when I came into my kitchen, I could smell it. Like you can smell this from, I wanna say like eight feet away, you can smell it. So I would definitely say that it's for cold weather. I'm loving this, it's so good. It's got that sweet almond with rose in it and it opens up with a little bit of like a lemon zest, lemon zesty rind. And I find it so interesting that all the My Burberry fragrances kind of have that similar unifying note. They all kind of smell similar, even though when you look up the notes, they're all quite different. Like My Burberry Blush, the original My Burberry and Burberry My Burberry Black, they all kind of smell similar. This is a very rich, syrupy version of that. Yeah, it's really, really sexy. It's really like a going out fragrance and I love it. And I'm really happy that I found it on Fragrance Net. The next one is a men's fragrance and it's Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme. So let me let you guys in on a little secret. This is a men's fragrance that I love to wear and I just, I love how it smells on me and I love how it smells on guys. This one, even though it's a men's fragrance, gets me massive compliments whenever I wear it because for whatever reason, the floral aspects in here and the violet leaf really come out on my skin. But this is also hands down one of my favorite fragrances on men. It's super snuggly. It's very seductive. It's very like one of those fragrances that you want to get closer to the guy wearing this. It's a very great Netflix and chill kind of fragrance. So boys and girls honestly this is amazing on everybody and it smells different on guys and on girls i i just love how this smells so i was really happy to get the 100 mil mm, it's so good like there's some spices in here that are quite obscure i can't pinpoint which spices there are there's definitely ginger there's violet leaf and i think there's basil you can smell it very very subtly just the way that all these notes combine is quite unique honestly i don't know another fragrance that smells quite like this this is a winner this is listed on fragrancenet.com for about a hundred dollars and this is a hundred milliliter bottle i haven't seen it actually priced any better anywhere i will always be honest with you guys with where i think it's a good idea to buy fragrances and where it's not i wouldn't be promoting this site if i really didn't believe in them and honestly i'm telling you guys 80 percent of my purchases are from there and then the other 20 percent are from canadian sites which is like only a fragrance net doesn't have it or if the shipping costs me more then i'll buy it from one of the canadian sites but it's crazy how even with the shipping to canada it still costs me less to get stuff from fragrance net like anyway i don't know how that's possible but i've never had a slip up with them everything has been 100 percent authentic they're completely legitimate and they have a guarantee like an authenticity guarantee on their website so i would never be worried about buying from them and i know that a lot of other influencers and fragrance reviewers use that website too so we all kind of swear by it i shouldn't speak on other people's behalf but i do know that this website is like fully legitimate 
So anyway, the next one that I have is um, Elisab Le Parfum, and this is Le Couture. And I've been on an almond kick lately, like the My Burberry Black. That one has a sweet almond note. This one has a green almond note. So yeah, there's a box in a box because it comes with a little baggie. This is the bottle. This one was about 40. By the way, guys, I'm talking Canadian dollars. So US dollars is probably even better. Our dollar is really weak right now. So I am i didn't see the US pricing on that site, but I imagine it's like way less than what I'm saying. This is a really watery orange blossom with a very subtle soft vanilla and a green almond note. It almost smells a little bit like tea. Honestly, if you told me that there's a tea note in this fragrance, I'd believe you. And there's only, I think, three notes, but it's just simplistic and elegant fragrance. Very feminine, very good for spring and summer. So I'm, I'm really liking this. And it came with this little pouch. Let me show you. This little pouch. I don't know what you would use this for. Honestly, I don't know. It looks like a cute little envelope. I don't think it's a clutch bag. I don't know if you want to just like put some cash in here or whatever. Um, but anyway, it's a cute little bag that came with it. So that's nice. And then I have Pure Poison from Dior. I had, if you guys saw my previous videos, I had the Elixir version of this. And I got so upset because that stupid atomizer that's on it, it's like one of those like psh, psh, like atomizers and the fragrance evaporates and I guess like air gets in there and it oxidizes and it went off and I was so upset because I like I swore by that fragrance and I loved it so much and then all of a sudden one day I sprayed it and it smelled like old like old old fragrance you know like when it goes off and it has that like old smell to it I don't know how to describe it but you know like when you know you know that it's gone off and I was so bummed about it because now I can't get it anywhere. But anyway, I had to just bite the bullet and I got the regular Pure Poison. I actually haven't sprayed this yet. Okay, I have to move this out of the way because it's really interfering with everything because it's projecting like crazy. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move it out of this room. I actually had to physically get up and move the Burberry Black out of this room because it's like it's scent interference with everything else. It's just, it projects like crazy. It's very, very potent. So yeah, if that's what you guys are looking for, go for it. Um, but we're back to Pure Poison. So it's very hard to find this for a good deal. It's obviously a very popular fragrance. It's at about, I think, 140 or 150 for the 100 mil on FragranceNet. But yeah, this is the bottle. Don't mind my nails, they are absolutely atrocious. My nail lady obviously isn't working right now. So I had to make do on my own. This is the bottle, I'm gonna spray it. I, mean, I think I might spray it in the air. It's brand new. So off the bat, I can say that it's not as dense as the elixir that I had. The elixir that I had um, that was the Pure Poison elixir smelled like the original Pure Poison pre-reformulation. This is a little bit more watery and I would say actually a little bit more wearable. There's not such a fear of overspraying this one. It's a very, very clean, very sensual musk and white florals. Like off the top, you get bergamot and jasmine. And then it transitions into the other white florals. There's gardenia and there's a really nice clean white musk and some sandalwood and some other supporting notes that I personally can't pick up. But I love this. This is beautiful out of the shower. This is beautiful for just even wearing at home a great date night scent. Not that anyone's going on dates, but you know, uh, yeah, I just love this. It's like a, it's one of those like really clean, beautiful, sensual fragrances that I never regret wearing. Like, Anytime, if I just put this on, I'm like, I'm happy, you know? I mean, obviously I'm talking about the elixir, but this is even more wearable than the elixir. And the elixir is nowhere to be found these days. It's gone, it's discontinued, you can't find it. It's gonna be insanely expensive. So I'm really happy Pure Poison checks out. It smells really good, it smells just like a little bit more of a watery version of what I had known. And then I got a tester bottle of Lalique Le Parfum. So I'll show you what tester bottles come in they come in just a plain white box like this and they're perfectly new they're not used they just come in a super basic cardboard box it's what stores use for you to test the fragrance so there's no need for the actual like commercial box but yeah so it says tester on the back and it's a really nice heavy bottle i love these little tassels 
really nice packaging actually. This fragrance is listed at about $30 or so and for the packaging I would say I would expect this to be quite a bit more expensive. So I've been open, more open to vanilla fragrances lately. I'm going to do a quick sidebar, but basically I got Dior Addict and I loved it. And I've always kind of been like a not crazy about vanilla fragrances kind of person. They just always went either too powdery or too sweet on me. And I just was like, I wasn't comfortable with them. I just didn't think that they smelled good on me. I didn't like, I really don't like vanilla feels. And that's what I always thought of, of vanilla fragrance. So I'm sorry, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be upset by that comment. And a lot of people really like vanilla feels. I'm sorry, but I don't, and it's my show. So I don't like that type of vanilla, but I'm open-minded and I decided to try a little bit of a less expensive vanilla to venture into that world because I loved Dior Addict. I got it in an amazing haul. I'll link it up here. And I paid $20 for a full bottle. And then I was like, great, this is amazing. Let's try more. So Lalique Le Parfum, I decided to try this vanilla. This has an interesting sharpness and an interesting like herbaceousness. There's bay leaf in here, which is what initially intrigued me because I like the smell of bay leaf just on its own. And with the tonka and the vanilla in here, it's quite grounding. It's a mature fragrance. It's very elegant. I wouldn't say this is like a young girly fragrance. This is a really elegant vanilla. It's not too powdery. It's very aromatic. It's like a nice rich oriental vanilla. I had to spray it again. It's not too heavy at all. It's actually quite light and it doesn't smell cheap. I'm really, really happy with this. I think I'm gonna really enjoy wearing this because it's not the type of vanilla that scares me off. And I saved the best for last. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've known that this one has been on my wish list for a while and it is uh, Bottega Veneta Eau de Velours. I have been looking for this for so long, so thank you so much FragranceNet for sending this to me. I was ecstatic. What a gorgeous bottle. Look at the little suede tassel and then the detail on the bottom, this little waffle detail. That is so cool. I actually never noticed that before. But yeah, this bottle is gorgeous. It's a leather scent. Leather is one of my favorite notes. And I have heard a lot of really good things about Bottega Veneta, the original and the Eau de Velours. And I really, really wanted to try it. So it has a nice metal cap. We're going to give it a spray. I did wear this a couple times, so I'm familiar with how it behaves on the skin. It is so elegant. This is like a really assertive, beautiful, smooth, velvety leather. There's plum as a supporting note. There's a subtle, subtle rose in here. Very creamy, velvety rose. Like I would think of like a rich, velvety rose petal when I smell this. It's beautiful. It's a little bit peppery. It's very, very elegant. And I think that this is a great work fragrance. I think this is a great uh, formal event fragrance. It's um, it's not too feminine. It is, it is obviously feminine leaning, but I think that men and women can easily wear this. It's really sexy. It's a really sexy, slightly animalic leather. When people say animalic, I imagine something like a lot more pungent and a lot more like kind of not pleasant when I think of animalic. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was a little bit worried because people say that this is animalic and it's not really. It's a very subtle, only animalic in the sense that it smells like leather and it's really, really lovely. It's very elegant. It's like smelling the inside of an expensive handbag that has some expensive cosmetics in there. You know that like lipsticky rose kind of scent that powdery makeup scent. Imagine smelling a super expensive handbag that has some makeup in there, some really expensive makeup, and maybe for some reason, like a velvety rose. I don't know, but that's what it smells like to me. It's very, very elegant. So I'm so happy I have this. And I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the original Bottega Veneta. So they sent me a little tiny mini spray bottle. They, um, they have these now and I, I love that they're all labeled. I've got these from other sites before and they're not labeled, but they're labeled. So they're like the 
twist up. Ooh. So this is a chypre floral, as per Fragrantica, because it has the oak moss in here. It smells very similar to the Eau de Velours, but this has the rose and the plum and it's richer, the Eau de Velours, and the original Bottega Veneta is like a leather with oak moss. It's, um, it's a little bit more watery. It's also a really beautiful fragrance. The original Bottega Veneta would be okay in the heat, whereas the Eau de Velours, I wouldn't even try it in the heat. So they're both really beautiful fragrances. And what I love is that Fragrance Net has started offering these uh, decant sized bottles. I'm not sure how many milliliters, but I want to say eight mil. They have a subscription program as well, but this wasn't part of the subscription program. But if you go on the website, you'll see like a lot of fragrances have a travel size like option. And it's a really great way to just try the fragrance. And on that note, I am really glad that I got to just try this one. And this is by uh, Cartier and this is Le Besser du Dragon and Kiss of the Dragon. I've been wanting to try this because it also has a, an almond note in here. It has the note of amaretto and amaretto is my favorite liqueur. So I thought, okay, it would be really, really good. It's like a sweet, boozy, almondy, um, just really, really tasty drink. This has bitter almond, this has amaretto, and it's got vetiver and like a bunch of other uh, supporting notes like iris, some musk, some honestly, it's quite obscure to me. To me, mostly I smelled the almond and vetiver. Oops. Now we're gonna give it a spray. Honestly, um, I'm disappointed in this one. I thought it would be a sweeter almond, but it's a really powdery, like cyanide type of almond with vetiver. And on my skin, this is almost all vetiver, which I don't know why my skin does this, but it really pulls vetiver out of a fragrance. Sometimes it smells really good, like in Belle d'Afrique by, by Rito. It smells amazing. This is like such a bummer. So yeah, I'm glad I got to just try it in a little spray bottle because I, I would have been so disappointed if I got a full bottle of this because I would never wear it. And yeah, I'm not impressed. It's really, really vetiver heavy. And the almond in here is actually really not flattering. So that's on my skin. That's how it behaves on my skin. On the paper, it's, it's okay. It's neither here nor there. It smells quite powdery on here. I would say the iris actually is quite strong on the paper. But in, again, in my opinion, not a nice iris. It doesn't smell good. So I'm glad I got to try that. Now, the other thing that FragranceNet.com will do is they'll send you some samples with your order, especially if you order like a bunch of bottles like I do, they'll throw in some samples. This time I got this kind of dinky little, like, I don't know, it's it's not anything special, but I've had really nice samples before. Like one time they, I'm pretty sure they threw in a sample of uh, Parfums de Marley Delina and some other like nicer fragrances to try. I think I got Mikalev from them before as well. They threw in a couple samples of Mikalev. So I guess it depends on the value that you purchase for. But anyway, so that is my haul from fragrancenet.com. They did give me a promo code to give you guys and it'll give you 30% off and the code is scented30. But uh, a quick Google search, maybe probably will definitely yield you a better promo code. So that is my huge haul from Fragrance Night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.